This is Dr. Chandra Smalley. Welcome to the Fear Fighter Podcast. Today we are talking about something so sad. Um, the sad? loss of Miss Jackie O. That was so, so, so sad. Because a mother, I can't imagine anything, to doing anything that would make me leave my baby. I mean, I've, I know that she felt that way also. For anyone who doesn't know... She has three children with DC Youngfly. I think that's how you say his name. I know who he is, but I don't really watch for a while now. At least I didn't used to because I don't have cable. I have Apple TV. But she recently died getting a mommy makeover in Florida. And, you know, no one is trying to go into getting anything surgically done and lose their life. Like, that is not what anyone wants to do whatsoever. So it does suck that people keep talking about this incident like, oh, she could have prevented it. Oh, anything, you know, she could have worked out. She could have had more self-esteem. She could have worked on herself more, like mentally or, you know, she was lacking in something and she did this and she died. She did not want to die. She did not think that she was going to do anything that was going to take her life. And yeah, there's a lot of women that get plastic surgery all the time, but people die of other things so often. The rate of African Americans die, I don't, I think she was mixed. But anyway, the rate of African Americans dying because of heart disease is way higher than her dying on a surgical table. You know, if she would have had a heart attack, she wouldn't be criticized because we're used to that. Like we're used to people dying of cardiac events and things like that. And technically, most of those can be, you know, can, can, don't have to happen. They can be prevented, you know, eating right, being physically fit, working hard on your health and everything else. I mean, yeah, some people have, you know, they're born with different genetic disorders that predispose them to cardiac events. However, nobody just wants, I mean, not nobody, but most people do not just want to die she thought i've had three kids surgical procedure probably like no problem right so that's a tummy tuck and a boob job um because i mean things happen to women all the time when they get these procedures well not all the time but when's the last time we really heard it that someone died i mean i bet they do you know more often than we hear You know, she was someone, a celebrity, so we're going to hear about that more. However, she could have gotten a car accident. Like, you know, it's either you believe it's your time to die or someone has a time to die or they don't. You know, maybe you believe that it was a freak accident or, you know, maybe that was her time and she would have died anyway, no matter what, in her sleep. Um, One influencer that I was just looking at, she had aneurysm. A brain bleed um while giving birth to her child and she's been in a coma for like two weeks that why well, i read about that last week so hopefully she's better i need to look that up again because it made me very sad being pregnant and everything like that but there's people who die all the time like you you, you know and it's so funny because there's people who take horrible care of themselves and they'll live to like 90 years old and then there are people who are very active, are very self, well, of health conscious, and they'll die a freak accident, like, you know, speeding or something like that. Mommy? Yes, baby. Mommy, what? Very pretty, sweetie. Very pretty. So I kept my daughter home from... Mommy? Are you on the call? School today. No, baby. Because she had a fever yesterday. Mm, And she was really tired. But she... Feels a whole lot better today, right? Tried to give her to her dad. We met up... We actually met up... Like, halfway. Um... And she didn't want to go. So, here she is. Back again. Say hi. Where are you? Huh? Where are you? You're 
my camera. Daddy? Daddy's not there. You want to go see Daddy? No. <laughs> Daddy, where are you? Hi, Daddy. Daddy's not here. So, here she is back again. This was his weekend, but I basically took care of her most of the weekend. I took her to a birthday party. Well, no, I took her to a baby shower with all her cousins. They all have children. Most, a lot of little girls. So, I took her there, and then... That was all Saturday. I had her all Saturday, and then I brought her back Sunday. <laughs> he picked her up, but then she had a fever. So I brought her back because, you know, I'm mom, and usually mom takes care of fevers and things like that, and I just feel more comfortable. Like, I didn't want to worry about her all night. He didn't have any Tylenol or ibuprofen for her just in case she spiked a fever, I mean, a higher fever. Um, and I just wanted to make sure I could yeah. monitor her. There, I'm trying to get out of here. Baby, get out. Just move over. Uh, Why did you get in there? Uh, but here I am. She uh, loves Spider-Man. Huh? I, you love Spider-Man? Yeah, you. Are you? You uh, are you going to be? You're going to be a Hulk. Hulk? You're going to be Spider-Man or a Spider? Don't it be Spider-Man or Hulk? Um, Spider-Man? Um, Spider-Man, yeah. I want to be Spider-Man. Anyway, um, back to the main topic is would you do, would you do plastic surgery or would you, oh my God, that's my dog. Would you get something done, like, to your body, to your face? Where's Doggy? He's on the other side of the couch. Look, I really want to do Botox. I've never done it. But I do want to do Botox. I mean, even though, like, people do Botox all the time. Bingo. Botox is a toxin. Bingo. Like, it's totally Bingo. poisonous. And that's why Bingo. it works the way it does. Bingo. You know, but people don't die of Botox injections. First of all, because they're so itty-bitty. So no one talks about that. You know, if someone does <laughs> Botox, it's not like a big deal. Mommy. Yes, baby. Help. What's wrong? Come here. Baby, get up. Get up and come here. Gigi just, just, Gigi just scared me fell. Gigi just made the me dog. fell. Gigi. No, no. Gigi has a sticker on her. You put a sticker on Gigi? Get down. Oh, no, no, no. Get down. Get down. I didn't. Down. No, down. I didn't. Get down. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not a fan Mommy, of pets. I didn't. On... Mommy, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm not a fan of pets on couches and stuff like that. I know a lot of people do that. That's not my thing. I'm not really a big dog person, by the way. Gigi. But I have a dog. One, Gigi, because... Okay, we got this dog when me and my her dad, when we were together, he really wanted a dog because his parents had a dog. But they had a Shih Tzu, and Shih Tzus just kind of lay around. Come, I'm over here. Come, doggy. We got her, and she was Gigi, like six I'm, weeks old. I'm over she here, was Gigi. itty bitty. Gigi. Gigi, I'm over here. And I, I did want to have Gigi, my daughter grow up with Why a dog. Because I, I didn't grow up Gigi. with a dog. Take the sticker off of her. Okay, I will. Okay. I see you. So the two of them are. No, no. Gigi, get down. The two of them are three months apart. They're both three. Gigi, get down. So I didn't grow up with the dog. So I can't see a dog as as being a child. Like some people are like, oh my god, that's my child. No, it's just another. It's just. It's just an animal that I have to feed, bathe, make sure they have shots, make sure they don't have fleas, make sure they don't have ticks. Just make sure that they're fine. Like, it's just a living creature that lives in my house. You know, and when I go places, I have to make a plan for her and what she's going to do. I know some people don't feel this way about dogs, but I do. And plus, she's a Basenji, so she's a very... um 
what I would say, active breed, and she needs to be active all the time. So it's difficult for me because I'm either usually gone all the time or I'm tired. And for and also, Ocean is my top priority. So she has a dog walker. Um, people that come over can play with her. There's a dog next door, so sometimes they kind of run back and forth across the fence. Um, she does run through the house. Like she is now with my glove. My, my glove. Use your words. Gigi, that's my glove. So, back to Jackie O. I did not know her, but this, it's so sad. Like, I feel like her and DC, people call him that, were so in love and they looked so cute and their kids, their little family is so cute and I really feel for him. And I just couldn't imagine, you know. I would think that I would love to have plastic surgery. Well, not plastic surgery. Um, maybe a boob job. I mean, this would be my second baby, so everyone who's had a baby knows that the boob situation goes from bigger to nothing. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Then again, I care, but I don't care. Um, she's going to bite your book. No, she's not going to bite you. I'm just kidding. She's just going to nibble it. I'm just fighting. Oh, Lord. It's getting her. Okay. Almost. Don't hit her too hard. But, you know, and I think about, like, in this day and age, everyone gets work done, right? It's like a sign of affluence in a way, but it's also a sign of beauty. I am a pretty low maintenance. I'm pretty low maintenance. Like, I don't even like to get my nails, you see, my nails done or my feet done. And I've always felt like that. But mostly before in college, I didn't want to spend the money for it. I didn't really have the money for it. And now that I do, I don't want to sit. I, sitting at the nail shop for an hour and then going home and having your nails, the um, polished chip after a few days. Or being worried about it chipping is tragic. It's just not something that I want to do. Um, so I've gone and I'll go with people. Like if if someone wants to go, I'll go with them because we can talk or whatever. But other than that, and then I mean, working in the pharmacy, I remember this guy had this patient once who went, who was, who did his feet all the time. And one day they got infected with fungus. And it was on his feet and his hands, actually. And it was a lot. I wouldn't say it was gross, because if you get fungus on your hands, it doesn't really look that gross. It looks like kind of like really dry skin. Um, like you have a layer of weird looking skin. But it spreads and fungus is crazy. Like fungus will live. Don't. Uh, yeah. <coughs> oh Lord. Uh, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um Yeah, oh yeah, so he had fungus all over his feet and hands, and it took so long. He ended up changing his insurance and going to Kaiser, so I don't remember. Ma, I, will be right I don't think home. it was gone by the time he left, but it had been at least a year. Yeah. And he was using all sorts of creams yeah. that he got prescribed to him. And it, you know, it got better. But it took forever yeah, to go away. I, Hopefully it did all the way. Uh, I'll never forget. Yeah, there. When I think about surgery, though, like coming from a medical standpoint, like you really think about the risk of infection. I know she had some, some kind of cardiac event when they did the procedure. Something happened with her heart. It was probably strain, which probably had a lot to do with how often she worked out. Like, 
your heart is a muscle you have to work it the stronger it is the better it works usually right so maybe she didn't work out that often and her heart just wasn't as strong as it could have been you know because people get these procedures every day and a lot of them are walking out well not walking out of it <laughs> well maybe Ro getting rolled out of those procedures um so who knows but i feel for her I feel for their family um you know when it does come to self-esteem i mean women do do these things for self-esteem purposes a lot of times they do it for themselves too like we like to look at ourselves in the mirror and be like oh my body's banging oh that looks so good you know we do that <laughs> And sometimes, I mean, I read online, sometimes people are taking the conversation of, like, it's for a man. And sometimes it may be for a man. I mean, she had a man for a very long time. They, But they seemed like they were in a good place. Who knows? But, I don't know. Regardless of why she did it, I'm sorry, but it was her business. You know, she happened to die. Um, but that was definitely not the intention. She didn't have to do that procedure, but she wanted to. And if she didn't do it, she would have still wanted to, and she would have probably done it, you know, some other time. Who knows? Her baby is like 10 months, I think. So maybe she didn't wait long enough after having her last child. Maybe her body just couldn't handle it. Who knows? But I guess at the end of the day, we really have to think about why we do the things we do. You know, is it really worth it? Is it worth having a surgery? Um, for anything, really. <laughs> there are elective surgeries for all sorts of things, you know, that people do or decide not to do for all sorts of different reasons. Now, I believe plastic surgeries don't have as much, like, I don't know, scrutiny? Allergies? <sighs> the dog. Well, no. I'm not allergic to the dog, but there's a big tree in my backyard that I am allergic to and the dog is probably covered in the pollen of the tree because it's flowering right now and it falls and it's a huge huge tree like um probably 20 to 30 feet in the backyard like we need to get it cut down which would be like super expensive and it'll take away all the shade in the backyard there won't be any more shade but usually I've I've bought a couple of tents anyway so I would just put up a new tent <laughs> I've bought two tents so far and they both were destroyed the same way but basically by rain and wind um or like randomly i know i should take them down but it's so hard to want to take them down because the since it's the huge tree over it there's spiders and bugs you know that come from the tree that live in the tree um so spiders will get into the tent i mean there's obviously bugs anyway but spiders will get into the tent and yeah then it's like mommy i should have took it down the first day mommy i want seltzer water you want seltzer water yeah yummy yeah, yum yeah, seltzer water yum yeah. this baby loves sparkling water so when i talk about scrutiny when it comes to plastic surgeries i mean plastic surgeries are scrutinized a lot but there are a lot of procedures say like colonoscopies which are more um which everyone has to get like really at some point in their life and they're around 50 and some people die of colonoscopies but they're like a procedure that i mean you can always deny it but it's something that you're supposed to get like when we get mammograms and we're supposed to get them every year after 40 colonoscopies are one of those procedures where you should probably do it but you could die, you know. And at times those are scrutinized, um, especially by medical professionals. Like that is how I really learned about the deaths of colonoscopies because nurses were talking about it, you know. And I hope when I get one that nothing happens to me and everything's fine. I don't get a bowel perforated or anything like that. But you just never know what's gonna happen, you know. So there's a lot of elective surgeries that we do. It's either for 
looks or it could just be for our health in general or just to prevent things in the future yeah i mean when it comes to surgeries like i'm scared like i'm scared to do something elective just in case i die or something bad happens right but should i let fear stop me you know um when there's way more people that probably die of car accidents you know or have heart attacks I mean, it's really difficult to say because I'm all, right now, like the podcast is really about fighting fear. It's about decreasing anxiety. If you have anxiety about a surgery, do you try to overcome it, you know, and get the surgery or you take it as, I don't know, warning sign, you know, maybe. But anyway, I just really wanted to talk about this because you know, people have so much to say about what happened with her. And it is very unfortunate, but, you know, we all do what we do with our life. And I know she was a mother and she had three kids and she is, um, you know, she needs to make sure that they're taken care of. I mean, I'm pretty sure those kids are well taken care of and will be well taken care of because she seemed to be really liked and had a strong support system so you know all of that will be fine and they'll be forever probably trauma i mean traumatized you know due to the fact that they lost their mom at a very young age especially the 10 month old that yeah. really won't remember her um yeah oh okay baby all right okay let's lay down you want to lay down? Did you finish eating? You know, kids are when they're when they get sick or they flint under the weather. That they're, they're so clingy. It's cute, but it's also rough at the same time. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, I think you know, for those who are out there thinking about about plastic surgery, you know, definitely look at the pros and cons. What's important Where's to you? Gigi? She's in the back. Where is she outside? You know, read about the risk. Is it outside? No, she's in the back room by the trampoline. Read about the risk, you know, take survey of what Mommy, come here. you have in your life and if you think it's worth it. But shoot, then again, I guess we should do that for every time we leave the house. Right? And get in a car. So with that, I'm out. Thank you for listening. Um, subscribe, share, Fear Fighter podcast. It's really a couple podcasts mixed into one. It's the old ass woman co um, podcast and anxiety podcast. It's um, girl look podcast. Like girl. <laughs> um, yeah, as well as sometimes it'll be toddler central. So anyway, um, this was fun. Everyone, have a great day, weekend, month, all that. Hi, thank you so much for watching my YouTube video. My name is Dr. Chandra Smallwood, and this is the Fear Fighter podcast. I do also have a Fear Fighter community. If you need to talk to other women that are that are like you, that deal with the things that you deal with, that feel the way that you feel when it comes to worrying, fear, just being overwhelmed and wanting to be productive at the same time, or if any of these topics resonate with you, please join the community. Let's talk. Let's meet weekly. Let's have book club. Let's share tips and tricks and how our weeks are going and, you know, move on from there. If you have any questions, please click the link below or send me a DM on Instagram at I am Dr. Chandra Lynn, L-Y-N-N-E. Hope to hear from you. Bye.